happy 4th of July, everybody. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Sunday Night Stock Zoom call. I hope you had a productive last week and you're having a powerful weekend. Looking forward to a prosperous upcoming week in this market. Family, this is not financial advice. This Zoom is for entertainment, education, excitement, and empowerment so that you can make your own personal financial choices. All financial choices made by viewers should be done after talking with a licensed professional. Hey, listen, we're not wasting any time tonight. We're going to get straight to it. I have my friend, my brother from another mother. He yep. is my main man. I got Pastor Bill is on the line. And Pastor Bill, why don't you unmute your line and give us those Sunday night leftovers? <laughs> okay. I think I am unmuted, aren't I? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. We hear you loud and clear. Okay. Well, you know, I want to share something. You know, the, the Lord's been working in me with uh, personal evangelism. And this uh, message uh, is about, uh, it, it's really a, a good way to share your faith. This is Luke 15. It's called the lost and found column in the Bible. You got the, yes. lost, the lost coin and the lost son. I'm going to focus in on the lost son. And uh, the first thing, there's, there's three things here. You got the sick of home, homesick, and home. First of all, he starts, I'm not going to read the passage because I think everybody knows it. You should know it. If you don't know it, it's time to get to know it. Luke 15. Um, so this young son, uh, he, he says he wants to leave his father's house. And that is an interesting picture. There were two sons. This was the younger son. And he wanted to leave the house. He wanted his stuff. He said, give me my money. So he wanted his money early. So the father conceded, gave him his money, and he turned his back on his father. Now, think about this, this is a picture of us in sin. We, we want our stuff. We want it right now. And we, we walk away from the father's house. How many people started in church and walked away, ran off into the woods? He, he, he left the presence of his father. And he went somewhere. He went to the far country. We might say like today said he went to New York or he went to uh, Las Vegas. He went somewhere where there was action. He was tired of that old town he was living in. There was nothing happening. So he was looking for he was looking for some clubs, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Anybody can get down that one. So he, he headed out into the far country and he had money. Ain't nothing like a man with money going to the clubs, right? So he started right. having par party, party, party. And he was everybody's friend. And uh, uh, he was buying and they were using uh, his resources. But guess what? It came to an end. It came to an abrupt end. That's uh, when he ran out of money. When he ran out of money, he ran out of friends. Well, this is kind of a picture of, of us. Uh, as we uh, walk away from God, it's good for a while, and then all of a sudden, it's not so good. So um, he ended up uh, feeding pigs. They were, it, there was a, a market change, you could say, because all of a sudden, there was um, a famine in the land. Now, when he went there, it was good, but all of a sudden, things changed. Not that they changed in the in the economy, but they changed his personal life. Right. He ended up feeding pigs. So um, now you want this to be a discussion, or am I just uh... uh just give me give me a couple more minutes? That's all. Okay. Well, I'm not. Yeah. So okay. he goes. He he, he starts uh, feeding the pigs, and then he starts thinking about his father's house. He says, "You know, if I go back there, I'd at least have food." You know. So he's starting to get homesick. He's starting to get homesick. And it's interesting, it's two steps down because it says he began to be in want. Right. But he then later on it says he came to himself. So then he was he made up an apology because he figures I'm gonna see my dad again. I want to have to have an apology. So he said, uh, Father, I've sinned against heaven and against you, and I'm not worthy to be called your son. 
So he had this policy all written out. Have you ever had a, a problem where you had to go face somebody? You, you usually will write it out because you don't want to say anything wrong. You want to get it right. So he, he had written his apology. And, uh, and he now turned and went back home. You see, he was sick of home. Now he's homesick. Right. So finally, uh, when he gets home, he's surprised because his father comes running to him and puts his arms around him and uh, says, this, my son who was dead is alive. And the elder son was saying this was, he, he remembered what his brother did wrong. The older right. brother, he remembered what he did wrong. So he, when he came to his father, guess what he found? He found grace. His father was waiting for him, ran to him, and uh, the father took one look at him. I always thought about this because I had uh, some drug uh, program called Turning Point. The kids were in my church, you know, and my I figured the kid went out weighing about 108, and he came back weighing about 130. Because when his father took a look at him, he said, uh, "Give him a new robe," because I would say that he. His clothes were tattered and torn. He probably went out dressed like he'd been to your shop, you know. <laughs> but he came back. He came back looking pretty uh, tore up. So he says, give him a new robe. And he said, put a ring on his hand because he probably pawned all of his jewelry. Remember, he got the money, right? So he said, let's put a ring on his finger. Let's, and he came back barefoot because he said, put shoes on his feet. I say he went out with nice floor shine and came back barefooted. He said, put shoes on his feet and uh, let's feed him because he lost all that weight. So let's kill the fatted calf. I must have a party. Well, this is a picture of the kingdom of God that when we come back to God and he's ready for us and he wants to bless us. Let's think all the things that his father gave him. He gave him a robe, a ring, shoes, food, and a party. I mean, that's, that's quite a homecoming. What a story, man. This Pastor Bill, man, we thank you so much, man, for blessing us tonight. Listen, hey, you're welcome to stay on with us. We're going to do what we do every Sunday night, and that's learn how to create this financial wealth so therefore our children's children will be able to live thereby. So we appreciate you tonight. You can stay on camera, off camera. You can listen in, uh, uh, and we're back here every Sunday. So we appreciate you, man. What a word, what a word. Uh, I like Luke chapter 15 because it's the chapter of lost things. You know, there's the lost yeah. silver, there's the lost yeah. sheep, and then there's the lost son. So you blessed us afresh tonight. Thank you, sir. Okay, you're welcome. Amen. Well, hey, listen, family, listen, we can't stress enough. Uh, uh, while Wall Street sleeps on our root stocks, let's continue to get our shares up to 125 shares uh, per share. Uh, the market appears to be making a turn. Uh, we're seeing a lot of green days now. Uh, so uh, get your pens, get your paper. Uh, we sent the uh, 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 ticker symbol out that we was going to discuss tonight. And we want to chop it up because we want to make sure that you know how, how we're thinking about these stocks, the different strategies we're using uh, when we find a stock. And you know what that stock is. That stock we put out earlier this week. I'm going to put it on the screen right now. And um, I hope you all did your homework and you got your info. Uh, because we're going to chop it up tonight. Here it is right here. We sent this out on Wednesday, Lordstown Motors. Uh, this stock usually hang out around 12th Street, uh, what we mean about $12, 11, between 11 and $12. Uh, it had a big dip. And as you can see, around 11 a.m., 11.30, it was a big sell-off. And it dropped down to $8.56 per share. Uh, this is an EV piece. You know, we got our CCIV. That's one of our root stocks. Uh, we'll load the boat on, on CCIV, which is uh, Churchill Capital. They're going to merge together and, and form Lucid Motors. Uh, we got Tesla. You know, we heavy in Tesla. That's one of our big root stocks. Uh, and then we got Neo. A lot of you all are making a lot of money. I know tonight uh, uh, a lot of people are doing 4th of July, so I know our numbers are down. But we're here tonight anyway. So, um uh, uh, here's another one. I put it out earlier this week about Wednesday. So, hey, let's look at this particular stock. Uh, so, uh, without further ado, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to chop it up tonight and, uh, we're going to find out what you guys think. Should we, uh, should we hold this stock? 
Should we swing this stock? Should it become one of our root stocks? Or should we just put it on our watch list? That's what we're going to discuss tonight. And uh, I hope you did your homework. Let's start out with Pastor Harper. Pastor Harper, did you find out anything about uh, Lordstown Motors as it pertains to uh, why they had a big drop in the price like that on, uh, on last week? I think you're on mute, sir. Okay, now I'm off mute. No, Dr. Griff, I, I didn't do that one. I did Draft King and Carnival. Okay. I know okay. you guys were okay. doing that. So I, I didn't I didn't do that one. I didn't get around to that one, but I did do uh look at Draft King and also at Carnival. At Carnival. Okay, we'll yeah, circle fine. back. We'll we'll, okay. circle, we'll we'll circle back to you on that. Right. Um uh I see uh Pastor Burrell is on. Pastor Burrell, uh did you get a chance to uh look at and find out uh what it was? Because what we want tonight, what we want to do tonight is I want it to be interactive. So you'll see how the leaders, how we think when we look at a certain stock and, and, and the progression we make. It's almost like back in the day when I was in Liberty City, Miami, and I used to love Dan Marino. And man, Dan Marino would take a defense and he'll pick them apart. If they give him a five yard out, Danny boy, would take that five yard out and he'll, he'll just jam it and jam it and jam it because he's always looking to score. And there's, there's you gotta take that same approach when you're looking at stocks and you're deciding whether you're going to invest in it, you're going to swing it uh, just to make a nice swing play, or you got it for the long term, uh, or you're just going to put it on your watch list. Pastor Burrell, did you get a chance to uh, uh, look at and find out why did Lucid Motors make that drop uh, uh, this week? I did not, Griff. Uh, uh, please forgive me. Uh, uh, I've been uh, concentrating. I, I guess Harper been peeping in my window, but I've been I've been looking at my carnival piece. Yes. And also seeing how uh, the C CCIV is really uh, uh, beginning to make that move after, I mean, I think it had dropped as low as 18, maybe the high 17s. And right. now it has exceeded the point at which I purchased it at, which was $26.90. So uh, right. that's where I am in, uh, 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 I, I, you know, I didn't get a chance. I, I, I got the text. Thank you for sending it to me. You yeah. know, I just got to be a little more diligent on being able to maybe hit those and when I'm in the middle of doing something else. Right. Because, you know, it, 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 it creates investment opportunities. I think I talked to Pastor Harper last week uh, when we were at the encounter uh, and he said uh, he did get him a few of those shares. So uh, uh, that was good uh, as well. Uh, I think Alicia's on the line. Uh, First Lady Alexander, did you get a chance to uh, do any homework on Lordstown Motors and why did they make that certain dip uh, last week? I apologize, Pastor Griffin. I did not. Unfortunately, I went back to school, so most of my time has been spent with homework, so I apologize. Okay. All right. All right. No problem. No problem. No problem. Let me see who else we have on the line tonight. Uh, I know he's a... Uh, uh well kev uh talk to us man uh talk to us what what it what it was and uh we'll chop it up and uh family if you get a pen i want you to write it down and then we got to make a decision uh whether we're gonna um uh what we're gonna do about this particular uh stock uh, uh lucid motors do we want to swing it uh, do we want to invest in it do we want to make it a long play or are we ev'd out you may say my portfolio is kind of ev heavy right now as, as it pertains to electric vehicles. I got a CCIV, you know, I got Neo and I got Tesla. Uh, so um, uh, Kev, talk to me. Yeah, what happened was a couple of weeks ago, man, the CEO and the CFO, they both left the company. So you know how the market, the retail markets get when they hear that type of information, they panic and they start to sell off. So what happened was, I know we always say that the retail is, <clears throat> you know, not big enough to move the needle, but when things like this happen, the retail markets get nervous and they start to sell off. So I think that's what we're seeing, um, you know, retail markets and potentially some institutions, you know, also backing away from this a little bit, reducing their position. Um, because, you know, again, you have those two factors. And then what was also announced last week was a potential litigation against this company. So between the CFO leaving and the CEO leaving and a potential litigation, um, it seems as if folks are getting nervous and they want to back out of this position. But the way I see it is um, the company is, it, is kind of too big to fail. You know what I mean? It's in the EV space and there's a right. lot of competition out there. 
GM fully, subdor- um, fully endorses this company. And I think ultimately the company won't go belly up, but um, I think that it is gonna take some dips in the short term, but I think it's a good buying opportunity if it dips down low enough, uh, because ultimately it's gonna turn itself around and get itself back where it needs to be. So th- those are my thoughts. That's, that's what I've learned about this, uh, this company. Well, let me ask you this, Cam. Let me let me, uh, let me push back a little bit. Um, so so we got the CEO, and we got the CFO of Lordstown Motors. They pull back. Not only that, we see that the Securities Exchange has put out a uh, uh, an investigation. They're investigating the company. So you know that 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 makes for weekends. People see that and like, oh, hey, what's going on? The CFO, the CEO has left. Uh, the stock trem- tre- I mean, just tremendously dipped. Uh, so let me, let me ask you this here. The C, CFO, CEO has left, uh, uh, securities exchange saying they're putting their, they're under investigation. Uh, does this open up an opportunity for maybe some other company to come sweep in and buy them up? Yeah. I mean, absolutely. Like I said, the company is in the EV space and that's where a lot of people are going. So I don't think that anybody uh, that's looking to be in that space or go into that space is going to let the company drop. You know, somebody would likely come in and, you know, save them. Now, my concern is with the CEO leaving the company and the CFO leaving the company and the um, Security Exchange Commission, you know, launching an investigation against the company, are they currently in a position for somebody to want to come in and do that? You know, so um, I don't think so. I don't think that the timing is now. Um, I also read that they were, um, you know, a little bit cash strapped where this EV pickup truck that they were looking to launch, that's their flagship vehicle, apparently. Um, I also read that they didn't have enough money to continue production. So now that's another flag against the company. So even if a company was interested in saying, you know what, we're going to swoop in and save these people, the timing might not be now because you have a securities exchange investigation, you know, pending. You've got two you know, executives that have left the company, two major executives that have left the company. So I just don't feel that anything like that is going to happen in the immediate term. But like I said, from the beginning, I do not believe that the company will be left by the wayside. You know, if they can't get it together, somebody will step in and pick them up, which, you know, again, would be a good buying opportunity. So my strategy is to keep an eye on it. It's probably going to dip a little bit more until the retail markets get comfortable with what's going on and start putting. What did, what did it close? What did it close at on Friday, Cal? Uh, nine twenty-two. Nine twenty-two. Okay. Where, nine, where, where does she normally live? She normally stay between eleven and twelve Street. I mean, eleven fifty, twelve, some, somewhere between eleven and twelve dollars. That's where it, it normally stays at. Even if it dips down a little bit to ten, it'll always come back up to somewhere between eleven and twelve dollars. Um, so that's the thing. If this thing goes down to seven fifty eight dollars, you know, I, I view it as a potential buying opportunity um, because it's a lot of room to get back up to that that twelve dollar mark, the eleven twelve dollar mark. What what do I always say about stocks, family? If if anybody remember, I, I, I always say it. You know, ever since we've been out here, you know, pr- uh, you know, pre pandemic, what what I say about stocks. Stocks have memory. That's right. They got that photogenic memory. And if they've been there one time, they'll get back there again. Listen, here's what I want to do. I want everybody to get this book. We've been talking about it. We've been, we've been telling you about it because this company that we're talking about now is prime to put an option on. All right. So this is uh, how to trade options uh, by Tim Morris. I want you to, I want you to, I want you to order this off Amazon. You need to get this and start reading it because we're going to we're going to do those sessions so that we can bring you up to that level. There's many ways to make money in this market. You can make money going up. You can make money going down and you can make money when the market is trading sideways. You know, you don't you, you, you don't only have to make money one way. We make money all three ways, no matter what's happening in the market. So, family, make sure you start getting this book. Uh, so that once we get ready to have these sessions and, and teach you all on options, you can make the you can you can make these plays. And when you see a company that has done like this, you can put you a nice option on this particular play, and you can make you a couple stacks because it's prime. It's prime because, like Kev said, the company is going to probably push down a little bit, but she's coming back, and you want to be in the action when she comes back. You want to be able to make some money. Not only watch this, we make it two ways. We make it we make money on the stock piece, 
when we purchase in the shares, but then we make money on the options piece too. All right. So get this book, start reading it, because we told you guys when 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 the when the bottom of October come, we're gonna do one one basic a uh, 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 beginner session on options. We're not going to get into all of the intricacies of it. And, and we want you to start paper trading. And then once you start paper trading and you feel secure, then we want you to jump out there in that water and start swimming. We'll watch your plays. We'll keep them because that's what we do here, family. We, 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 we watch for each other. But this company is primed for, a, uh, for, an, for an options play when you see a dip like that. Let me, let me ask somebody a question. Uh, what did you all think when we sent that? Um, when we sent that? Uh, we, when we sent it out to you this week to to put it on your watch list. What were you guys thinking? What were some of your thoughts, uh, Alicia? I'm sorry, Minister Griffith. Did you call me? Yeah. What were some of your thoughts when we put that play out? When we said, you know, breaking news: Lordstown Motors has dipped, you know, considerably. It's a major sell-off in this EV company. What was your thoughts? You know, when stocks dip, it really doesn't bother me because you always say that stocks have memory. I literally usually watch the dip. And then if I have like some extra money or some extra cash on hand, I look at it as an opportunity to probably purchase a few more shares if I can. If I can't purchase a few more shares, I just watch it. And I set um, my alert on the Yahoo Finance just to see like when it goes back up to like around the price I got it. Because it really, we've been like, in the market for a while now working with uh sns so it, it doesn't bother me i don't panic anymore before i used to be like oh no i'm losing money now i'm like oh well it'll come back eventually <laughs> and i just set my alert right 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 good good uh janaya did you do any um uh homework did you uh have anything that you wanted to bring as it pertains to it i know you have uh lordstown motors what did you find out on mutual line I did most of which um, is what Kev shared with us a little bit earlier, but it was a good exercise for me because I'm, I don't really always look into the stocks in really good detail um, because I don't always know what to look for. Um, but it just really got me going through all of the articles and even looking at the founder and trying to find out a little bit about them to to learn more about the stock. And it also made me start look, considering um, electric vehicle charging station stock. Um, just because I started looking at um, like EV infrastructure and saw that there isn't a lot of, there aren't a lot of um, charging stations for them. So right. that's one of the reasons there hasn't been like, a, it, it's definitely, move, it's definitely something that people are moving towards, but it hasn't had as, as, as fast of a progression, I guess, because of that. Um, so it kind of got me looking into some other stocks as well, which I thought was really interesting. Right, good, awesome. Let me ask you this, uh, Janaya, from last week's show, what did what did we talk about when we talked about seven keys to watching a stock's uh, pattern or a stock's behavior? Do you have your notes from last week's show? Yes, like a specifically all seven, or you just want to know a all seven, all seven. I, I because uh, because this this made for this particular stock really makes for putting that behavior so now you're able to see what the behavior pattern is with lordstown motors as they're going through this uh this company uh shake up um yeah so we talked about as far as searching for a stock looking at the pattern at the bell so what did the stock do at the beginning of the day um the midday the hour of power so what's happening um every day at three and then how it closes, um, your why will get you to your how. That was another thing that was covered. Um, news for today. So what's right. going on? Um, so as Kev mentioned with the execs leaving the company and what was the other thing? Just them being strapped for cash um, when talking about rides specifically. So that would be news that you would wanna think about. Um, and then just remembering that throughout your process as you're looking at the stocks. Right. Yeah, that's so an A plus grade right there, man. That's, yeah, that's, that's, a that's, 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 that's an A plus. That's an A plus with a gold star on the paper. She did. She did that thing. Uh, uh, yeah, so Janiyah, can you, you, you can you put in the chat? Janiyah did that thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, she she did that one. But if 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 everybody was um, you know, listen to what we had said last week, it's exactly what happened 
this week with Ride. And that's the same, all of that information that we shared with y'all is the same thing that we did this week when we looked at um when we looked at Ride. And as Tim had mentioned, once you get yourself a little more acclimated to this space, you know, you'll be able to learn how to do those options. So basically what we did was we know that the stock is going to push down a little bit. So we're able to do what they call an options put. And that means you're betting against the stock. You're thinking that the stock is going to go down. So what we did, we put an order in for that. So we're going to make money when the stock goes down, which is a great thing. And then when the news starts to shift a little bit, guess what we're going to do? We may buy a few shares if we're interested in it, or we say we're going to do a call option, which means we're betting that the stock is going to go up. So now we're going to make money as the stock goes up. So what we're learning is, you don't have to sit on the sidelines and lose money or not make any money when the markets are going down. Um, we've been through that stage. And unfortunately, Tim and, I, and, and a lot of us, we sat on the sidelines with our portfolios looking red when the market was correcting itself. And we both got tired of sitting on the sidelines. So we said, you know what? There has to be a way that you can make money when the stock goes down. So we did some reading, some research, some investigation and learned that we can do these put options. and. Now we can go against the market when the markets are red and still remain profitable. So it's important lessons in everything that we talk about. So keep taking the notes. It's um, definitely good information. And, and Tim and I are learning a lot as well. So we don't want y'all to think that we just sitting here throwing out a bunch of information. Everything we talk about is things that we've also learned in this space. So, right. go ahead, so let, me ask, let me ask you this, Janaya, as a new investor, as, 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 a, as a new investor to this space, and uh, getting started, when you saw what Ride did, and then you did your DD, and what we call DD, that was the terminology that Kev put up, that you want to know what those terminologies is. So when we put those things out during the week, alerting you on different things that the market is doing, and we put those little, um, those little terminologies in there, you're not lost, you know what it is. DD is due diligence. So as a new investor, new to this space, new to getting involved, when you saw what Ride did, what 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 was your thoughts? What was your immediate thoughts? Rather, you had dry powder on the side. And when we talk about dry powder, uh, that's just having some chips, some money on the side that you can go ahead and take advantage of it. But as a new investor, I'm interested to know, uh, Janai, what was your thoughts when you saw Ride and you did the uh, research, you found out what was happening, the interacting of the companies. I always say to you all, make sure you go to the company's website. You always want to go to the company's website, look at their investor page. It's a wealth of knowledge there. If somebody's telling you about a stock or you are out and you know a lot of us having 4th of July weekend and family members are coming over and people may start talking about stocks or ticker symbols or you hear something, you don't wanna just be like a crash test dummy and jump right into something. You wanna at least do your DD. You know, and I say, if a company don't have a, have a website, that's a, that's a no brainer right there that I probably shouldn't invest my dollars. So, so Janai, real quick, um, what, what does it say to you as a new investor? For me as a new investor, I felt like it was just a stock to watch. Like I was kind of with the masses. I was feeling a little hesitant about it after I, I read that information. Um, but kind of hearing some of the background information that you all are sharing right now, I'm looking at it a little bit differently. And then just remembering that the stocks do have photogenic mem memories. But for me, initially, I was kind of hesitant about it. Right. OK. I, uh, uh, write this down, and uh, I think you. I think you all are like this. If a stock is good at twelve, it's got to be good at nine. If you will buy a stock at twelve dollars a share, then it's got to be a good stock at nine. And if you will buy a stock at nine dollars a share, it's got to be still a good stock at six. So just keep that in mind. You know, a lot of times we be. You know, we get in these things. And if you look at a stock and you feel like the company, I think, uh, you know, maybe a year ago, I gave the example of Ridley's, you know, Ridley's uh, chewing gum. You know, will this stock be around for 10, 20, 30 years from now? Do you see Ridley's chewing gum going out? Of, do you see Lucid Motors? And like you said, we're in this space now. President Biden, we have to look at what's happening on the national level. He's in this space. He's talking about he wants EV stations all across the country. So what's EV stations? Electric charging stations. Here's an electric charging company. I don't see them going to zero. So uh, I think my main man is on. I want to hear from him. We hadn't heard from him in a while. Uh, I know he's heavily invested uh, in this company. It's another EV company. Uh, Neo, 
Greg, come on, man, talk to us, man. I know you. I know we probably got to have the the, the the Brinks truck to come over there and help you with some of that money you make. <laughs> you make it talk to us about Neo, man. <laughs> Well, they've been they've been kind of you know they've been kind of stand still for a minute, but they did um they did jump up pretty good this this either last last week they did get up to like fifty dollars you know it kind of kind of kind of stayed a little still there, but they they kind of working out some of the things that they had going on and kind of kind of stopped them a little bit you know kind of trying to get into other countries, so that's what's been kind of slowing Neo up a little bit. But um, I'm still, I'm still, I did pretty good. I did pretty good this week though, when it did jump up. I um, I um, I um, made, <laughs> I made pretty good money this week on it too when it did go up. Um, and like I say, it's just, it's just kind of, it's kind of at a standstill right now with them, with them trying to get in, into different, into other countries though. So right, when, right. once that happens, um, man. The sky's the limit. I I feel like you say. Greg, Greg, let me ask you: what's your what's your what's your um what's your thoughts on ride? Uh -huh. But um, but yeah, I've been rolling with them though. I'm gonna continue to. Greg, what's that's your why, thoughts? That's why they ride? are though. They just kind of. Can you hear me? Greg, um, can you hear? Me? Yeah, can yeah, you hear? I hear you. I hear you. What's your, what's your thoughts on ride? On ride, you know what? I just I just start looking at it. You know, I've been. I've been so busy at work, I, you know, with these holidays and stuff, you know, they keep me running. And um, I was, I just started kind of taking a peek at it yesterday. And as, as we were, as we were speaking right before you called me, right before you called me up, I was actually, I was actually doing an option play on it. <laughs> okay. while, we, while we was talking, you know, I, I'm, I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna, like Kevin said, I think it's gonna come down a little bit. And but it's it's it, you know it's it's not gonna it's not going anywhere but it's gonna come down a little bit, and um, <laughs> I'm actually I'm actually putting the option play in right now for it to drop, and um, you know take a little money and run with it. Okay, so you're gonna do you're gonna do a swing play on it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's that's good that's good stuff. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, Pastor Barrel, I see you out there, Pastor Barrel. I want y'all to let y'all know Pastor Barrel is live on the set. Uh, he's here uh, with SNS. He got in today. Uh, him and his son, he came down uh, for the fourth to see his uh, see his father. And uh, we're hosting him here, me and my wife. We're hosting him here uh, with SNS. So we had an opportunity to go out and play some golf today. And uh, we got back just in time enough to get ready for the show tonight. So, uh, uh, Pastor Barrow, man, you got anything you want to say? Any thoughts on Rod? Um, just looking at it as, as everyone else, I think uh, looking at it, as Kev was saying, from the perspective, you can you always make money on it uh, from a put or even from a call situation. I, I think we've all been looking at it, especially since the market seems to be correcting itself this past week in some areas. Uh, so we're just trying to be more productive. In fact, I, I've been looking at more options out there uh, as we all get to. But at the same time, just been a little bit, as, as Kev said, we're just waiting to see with it. But in the process of waiting to see, I think uh, you can always do like like others are saying, uh, put a uh, put a call, put a puts on it, and see what happens. Good, good stuff, good stuff. Anybody else want to jump in? Anybody else want to jump in? And uh, uh, what's your thoughts tonight? You know, this is an open forum. We kind of like want you all tonight. We want it to be like a, a think tank where we where we look at a stock that we put out. We you know breaking news. Hey, we saw a tremendous drop, and we want to kind of like let you all know what our thought process is when these stocks are coming across the scanners and we put them out to you all, you know, what we're thinking, what we're looking at, you know, how we, how we say, so we kind of like tonight, we wanted to bring you all into, you know, back in the day, they used to call it when I was a little boy, my mom would say, stop eavesdropping boy. So we wanted to kind of like wanted y'all to eavesdrop a little bit to kind of see how we mill these things around and, and what's our thought process in making this money. Uh, as it pertains to, you know, this stock or whatever, whatever stocks there is, because, you know, we say it all the time, you can take your money and, and, and put it in Wells Fargo, they're going to give you 0 0.0000000 on your money, you can put it in Bank of America, and let it stay there, they're going to give you 0 0.0000000 on your money, you need to invest your money, you need to invest, I'm not saying invest all of it, but you ought to be in this space, you ought to have something to invest, because if you got $100, and in two days, you can make 15% on that $100.
<laughs> you wouldn't get it if you took it to Wells Fargo. They're not going to give you 15% on your money in two, three days. You know, some people get 30% on it. Some people get 40% on it. Sometimes you can get 100% on it. And that's what this space in, 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 uh, enables you to do. Uh, so anybody else? Gary, what's up, man? I see you out there. Talk to me, Gary. How you feeling, first of all? We've been praying for you, brother. I'm with your line. You on mute, Gary. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, I hear you. I didn't hear what you say. No, I was saying we've been praying for you. Hope you've been doing good. You got any uh, thing you want to talk about tonight as it pertains to uh, uh, this particular stock we're talking about, Ride, or what you've heard so far? What would be your thoughts on it? I, um, to be honest with you, this week I didn't get too much to look at um, the stocks because, you know, I'm having issues with my eyes. Okay. Actually, on Wednesday, I'll be having an operation, so okay. Um, I'm not able to vision much because I have some drops putting in my eyes and stuff. But um, I got here our text. You know? Okay, okay. Uh, what I want to do real quick before we uh, get back into it, Pastor uh, Burrell, can you unmute your line? Let's pr let's pray. Let's pray for uh, uh, our, our family member right now, uh, Gary. He's going to go and have that procedure done, and. Uh, we want to just stop and pause right now and just pray for you, Gary. Pastor Barrera. Amen. Father, we thank you now, Lord, for all your many blessings. Lord, I thank you for my friend and brother, Gary Dean Wynn. Lord, I pray now you would touch him from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet. And Father, I pray, Lord, you would dispatch your angels of healing to his bedside, even in anticipation of this operation on Wednesday. Lord, go before him, come behind him, be all around him like the walls around Jerusalem. Father, we thank you right now. Lord, we give you honor. Lord, we give you praise. Help Brother Went, Lord, to put his complete faith, hope, and trust in you because you are God who does all things well. And Father, we know how to praise you. Lord, if you do it by medicine or miracle, we're going to say thank you. Lord, if you do it by pill or by prayer, we're going to say thank you because you are just that kind of God. Lord, be with him. Encourage his heart. It's in the name of Jesus, our Lord and our Savior, we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor Burrell. Thank you. Um... I would like to um, converse with someone to get more education on what I'm really looking for. Because I've been looking at some stocks, but I really don't know what I'm looking for. Okay, well, uh, Kevin, Kevin's been trying to reach out to you, uh, Gary, but I think you've been having some, y'all been missing each other. So we got your number. We'll, we'll give you a, try to get back with you uh, uh, after Wednesday. We know you're having a procedure right. on Wednesday. So let's. Let's kind of wait and let that go, and maybe we'll try to uh, well, reach out um, to you Thursday. It's going to be longer than that because after Wednesday, I can't look at no computer or nothing. Okay. They give me about a week. Okay. We'll do so that. Can... Yeah, you can sit down. Just want you to okay. listen. Okay. We'll do that. No. All right. Pastor Burrell, you're still on. You're still, you're still, uh, we can still here. You're not on mute. Okay. All right. Um, uh, Anyone else want to add anything to uh, to Riot tonight, uh, uh, to the discussion tonight? This is a think tank tonight. You know, it's, it's not going to be long, not a long call tonight. Uh, but we wanted you to uh, uh, to be able to uh, see how we think about it. Pastor Felton, I think I see you on. Did you have a chance to look at the company, uh, Riot, when we sent it out? Or uh, based on the information you heard tonight, what's your thoughts? What do you think? We should rush it or flush it. Pastor Felton, you there? I think you're on mute. I'm reaching line. All right. Well, Dana Broxton, I see D Brock. D Brock, the boss is is it? I'm about to go back and give me your give me your DJ name. D Brock, the monster job. But uh, they are serving Dana. What you think about Ride? Did you get a chance to look at anything, or uh, based on the discussion tonight, uh, what do you think we ought to do with this stock? Should we put it on the watch list? Should we try to swing it? Is it a long play? Or should we just kind of like stand still and stand on the sideline and see what's going to happen? Well, Griff, I hadn't had a chance to look at it. Uh, I, I haven't been on in the last couple of Sundays. And um, I'm actually down here in Florida. We got here uh, today. So, I've been <laughs> so uh, I'm here. Uh, we got here today and actually leaving tomorrow. We were supposed oh, wow. to be. Yeah, we were supposed to be here to Wednesday. Uh, we were coming down for a wedding and um, 
the hurricane uh, coming in, uh, the the my, my nephew Theotis, who's getting married Wednesday, he he postponed it to the twentieth because uh, they don't know how the weather is uh, is going to affect, and so they canceled. So instead of waiting to Wednesday, I was going to try to get with you and play golf. But anyway, uh, we're going to leave out of here tomorrow and try, you know, not get caught with whatever is going on. So uh, I didn't get a chance to take a look at it, but uh, I am certainly going to look into it for sure. Okay. All right. Good. Good enough, man. Uh, okay. That was good. Hey family, I'm putting something up on the screen right now. This is all of the EV space. You know what Janiah was talking about. And I want you to look at these ticker symbols. I want you to look at these ticker symbols and I want you to start, you know, we, 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 we talked about the behavior and the pattern. So if you don't have any stocks that you want to look at and see the behavior and the patterns on start with these ticker symbols here. Start with these tickers. And so take a screenshot of take a screenshot of what you're seeing on the screen now. And, and I want and I want you I want you to break them down. I want you to break them down. And if and if we can, uh, Kev, what you think? You think we ought to just assign, you know, a couple couple to, you know, each individual and and, and, and you watch them or, 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 or just 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 pretty much put those seven keys because these are all in that space. That uh that the administration is talking about now with charging stations, the infrastructure, uh, infrastructure, all of these all of these are key plays, and and there's a lot of money to be made in these spaces. But again, if you're not watching the stocks and you're not seeing when the dips happen, you're not knowing what's going on. Then you you it's like it's like driving an eighteen wheeler blind. So what I did, I compiled these uh, symbols. This is what they did last week, Friday at the bell. And the first one you see is ride. Last, last change, last close price was 914. It dropped 11.69%. The next one is workhorse and so on and so forth. So write these down and just start watching them. I mean, just get you a sheet of paper and watch the, you know, you know, watch what happens at the bell. Watch the mid kick. See what happens in the hour of power. Go out and see if there's any news on them. Because if you're investing in these particular stocks in these companies, this gives you a wonderful opportunity to make some money. You know, you got a little dry powder on the side, you know, you can you can make you a nice little swing play. Stock goes up, you can make a couple hundred bucks and get in and get out. You're not, you're not in for the long haul. You're not trying to marry none of these companies. You just want to share in their profits. So I think, you know, uh, I compiled this list uh, earlier this week uh, of all charging stations, everything in the EV sector. And here you have them right here on your screen. Anybody got any comments? Well, I, I, I you know, um, I tell you, you guys are on point. I truly believe that um, the future is EVs and I'm looking at the list and I have at least about three or four of those. I have Tesla, ChargePoint, CC, and I'm, I'm big on um, CCIV. And uh, I've been doing the research on CCIV, which is uh, Churchill Capital. And uh, Churchill Capital is going to be uh, uh, signing an agreement with Lucent Technology, I think around July 18th. Yeah, and then they're going to be, when is it? Lucent Motors, uh huh. Lucent, I mean, I was yeah, Lucent Motors, and they're going to be uh, rolling out their car, their new uh, car, and I truly believe CCIV is going to uh, be an explosive uh, stock uh, coming up soon. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm all in on CCIV, and so I have Tesla, CCIV, I have ChargePoint, and uh, I believe um, uh, Jana was correct; she was on point that you and you guys have mentioned it before uh you got a, the, the supporting stock you know the the charging stations uh, uh you know charge point plug and and which is a battery they're going to be doing commercial uh i don't see plug on there but plug is going to be a good one they're uh, i'm doing some research on them they're going to be doing commercial vehicles batteries uh they, they they have a huge battery uh operation and they're growing so you should add plug to the uh mix and uh, I just believe it's the way to go. So uh, I'm I'm excited about what you guys are doing and what we're doing. And and uh, I'm definitely going to I glanced at ride real quick. 
and I like where it came from, where it is now. I think it's a great entry point, and uh, uh, it's great. So, uh, it's definitely a viable option. Right. So uh, I appreciate that, Dana. And uh, you're right. Um, I'm looking for that slide now. I don't. I don't have it on this screen, but I have it on another screen. So let's do this, family. Um, uh, that's what we wanted to do tonight. We just kind of wanted to do a think tank, and uh, just, 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 just take a stop. And look at it around. Look at Yahoo Finance. See what news comes out on Ride. You know, look at Market Watch. We I went through I went through that last week. Showed you how to go in, how to look at it, how to find, how to see if there's uh, any insider trading. See what the what the big shots are doing. You know, we we went over all of those things last week. But I want you to watch Ride. Let's let's just watch this stock as a family, because what I would hate is for somebody to come in and swoop up and buy Ride. And we spent a whole 45 minutes on SNS talking about Riot. And next, a month from now, two months from now, or in January, Riot is at $50 a share. But we were talking about it at nine. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, oh, I'm gonna jump in now. No, don't jump in now. We, we was talking about it at nine. You know, a lot of times you look at, you look at where Tesla is now, but I remember when Tesla was $44. I remember when Tesla was $100, nobody thought it would get to where it is. You know, so um, let's put this on our watch list. Uh, let's, let's watch it. Let's see what's happening. Let's see what information comes out. Let's see if this uh, lawsuit or this inquiry that the uh, Securities and Exchange System has on uh, Ride, uh, does it have any teeth? Or is it something to just shake a few weak hands off but I don't want us to miss this opportunity. I don't want us to miss the money. I don't want us to miss getting in and everybody else get in and they take advantage and we don't. So do your due diligence. Uh, make sure you're watching it. And, and, and whatever your convictions are, follow your convictions. If your passions tell you to stay on the sideline, stay on the sideline. If your passions say, well, you know what? Let me give me 20 shares and let me just, let me just, let me just watch it. Whatever your convictions are, follow your convictions. But Remember, you need to invest in something. All right, any, of, any other questions, any other observations? If not, um, that's all we had tonight was just, just a think tank. Alicia yeah. All right, Alicia, I think you had a question. Talk to me. I'll mute your line. Is she still out there, Alicia? Okay. I'm sorry, Minister Griffith. I was on mute over here. I apologize. Okay. Um, my only question was, I know Webull allows us to paper trade stocks, but it doesn't allow us to like paper trade options. And you said something about paper trading. Does anybody know a platform that allows us to paper trade options? Uh, TD, uh, I think TD Ameritrade, but that, you, could, you, could, you don't have to use that. You could paper trade it. Uh, we're going to show you how to do it just on, on regular paper. You don't, you don't have oh, to get okay. to it. Yeah, you can paper trade it on regular paper. See where it is. If I'd have got in at this point, here's my strike price. All right, here's my premium that I paid for. Here's the price that it is. And now let me watch it. So you can you can literally paper trade it. You know what I'm saying? If you're not able to go into a TD Ameritrade and do it, I'll paper trade it with TD Ameritrade. Um, but you can actually just write the numbers down. And that's All what right. we that's what we kind of want everybody to start doing is, you know, here's my folder. This is my Sunday night stocks folder right here. Everything that I do is in this folder. All every stock that I ever purchased, every stock that I have, I want to know what it is. I want to know, you know, what did it do? What did I get in at? What did I sell at? You know, because sometimes I circle back. And when I circle back, that stock becomes another buying opportunity, especially like, you know, um, uh, well, I can't use Neo because I got in Neo when Neo was seven dollars. Now Neo was like 50 bucks. But sometimes you can get in the stock at you know, 15, ride it up and swing it. Then you come back and looking at your stocks and you see that same stock that you got in at 15. Now it's down to like eight. You're like, hold on, wait a minute. That gives you another opportunity based on your own data and your own research uh, that you have uh, 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 in these particular stocks. So I encourage everybody and I implore you to at least give yourself 15 minutes a day in your stocks. It don't have to be at the beginning of the day, but it can be at the end of the day when you having dinner, you know, you can you can you can you can you can put 15 minutes in. 15 minutes goes a long ways if you invest that in your portfolio. It makes the difference of if you're going to make three four hundred dollars this week 
are you going to make no hundred dollars this week? You got to invest and spend some time in your portfolio. You know what I'm saying? We're here for you. You know, I think uh, uh, Vic Jr., man, he texts all week. He get he gets a stock or he gets an idea. He texts us up. Hey, what you think about this? You know, I run it through the team and I get back to him and let him know what we think about. It. You know, so um, just invest a little time in your portfolio. And I tell you, you you start seeing you start seeing your money increase because you invest in that time. You know, we're here for you. But if you invest some time on your own, I, I say 15 minutes. But if you did 30 minutes, you're going to make just that much more money. You know what I'm saying? You might can't watch them all the time. You don't have to watch them all the time. But at the end of the day, sometimes midday or, you know, you just at the doctor's office and you waiting to be seen. You could be you could be going through a couple a couple things. You know, people think you texting. No, you're looking at Yahoo Finance. <laughs> All right. So uh, anybody got anything else? Anybody uh, have anything else they want to discuss? If not, uh, we're going to have uh, 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 Pastor Felton to pray us out tonight. And uh, man, I just like I said, I just wanted to be a think tank uh, next week. We're going to give you some plays of the week. You know uh, what comes across the scanner. We're going we're going to drop them out to you and let you have at it. But tonight I want you to be able to see, you know, go to that website, you know, um, uh, pull up some Yahoo Finance on it. And when we get off the call tonight, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna end the call eight minutes early. You got eight minutes to go in and look at, and look at RIDE, R-I-D-E. When you get off the call tonight, everybody I implore you to go onto some application and say, you know what, they was talking about this stock tonight. Put it in the uh, chat, Misha, ticker symbol, R-I-D-E. E. That's what we were talking about tonight, right? And text me, text me what you found. I want to know what you found. Text me, blow my phone up. But when we get off, take the next eight minutes and see what you find out about the stock. And you may say, you know what, Griff, this may have, this, you may be on to something. All right. Anybody else have any, any other questions, any other observations? Maybe it's not about ride, anything else. Good to see you, Randy. Hadn't had a chance to talk to you, man. Call me this week, Rand. Uh, let's chop it up, man. We hadn't talked in a while. Anybody else? Anybody got anything? Pastor Barrow, I know you always have a stock. I want to I wanna big him up. Uh, yeah, he is, he's here with us at SNS at the, at the studio tonight, but I want to big him up. He hit big last week on uh, AMD. Uh, he, he, he took home about $400, $460 off a play he did. And uh, man, hats off to you. Major salute. That's what we're talking about. $400 in one week. Major salute, Pastor Carlos Barrow. Way to go. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Let's go. All right. Uh, Alicia, you trying to say something? Or are you just off mute? Uh, this is her husband. Good evening, Minister Griff. God hey, bless you. You're doing hey. a great job. What's up, doctor? It's good to see you all tonight. It's good to see you. Good to hear from you, Bishop. You all be blessed. All right. Thanks, Bishop. Appreciate you. Love you, man. Uh, anybody else before we get ready to go? Anybody else? Anything? Any comments? Anything you want to see on uh, next week's show? Let me know. I'll forever hold your peace. All right. Well, hey, listen, uh, Pastor Felton, can you come on and uh, close us in prayer? Hey, family, listen, have a great 4th of July weekend. Uh, don't eat too much. And uh, listen, Family is first. Spend a lot of time with your family because that's at the end of the day, uh, that's all we got is our family. Uh, and you all are our family. And I appreciate you spending uh, a part of your 4th of July with our SNS family. And uh, let's continue to make that money. All right, Pastor Felton, it's on you. All right. Well, well, Tim, listen, I appreciate what you're doing. I want you to know that I just got in off the road not long ago, and I, I'll go ahead and pray. Father, in the name of your son, Jesus, we, we thank you for, for those of us that have come together tonight. We, we thank you for SNS taking the time to be able to give back and to pour into us and help us to learn when it comes to doing the business. Uh, this business of being able to buy, business of being able to sell, business of being able to, to make money and not sit around and wait for somebody to give us something. Yes. Now that you will continue to give us understanding of that that we're doing, help us to continue to be helpers one to the other. As we go throughout the day on tomorrow, being the fourth, well, throughout the night and tomorrow, help us to continue to be safe. The angels continue to shield and protect us. 
uh, help us to enjoy our families, enjoy our friends. And until we meet again, help us to take the time to invest because we understand that you give us power to get wealth. But now we've got to do something with that power. We thank you and we're grateful and we give you the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank Amen. you. Amen. Amen. Blessings to him. Amen, sir. Have a great week, everybody. See you next Sunday. Enjoy, Jim.